Hey guys, and welcome to the final episode, or should be final episode, of Mystical Ninja. Uh, last episode we upgraded our weapons, so now they're nice and golden. And uh, I say it should be final because through this door is the final part of the stage. This area is kind of like the intermission, the calm before the storm. And uh, I think this place, once we go in, it has better music. Like, it really lets you know you're at the end. So we're going to just go through and um, see what awaits us. Just listen to that. Yeah, they're really letting you know you're reaching the end. Oh! I totally actually forgot that was there. Uh, anything else in here? Oh, golden fortune doll. Nice. Reached by one. So, yeah, this is the finale, and I really wish I would have drawn it out a little more instead of doing, like, Saturday, Sunday. I wish I would have just done one day, because this is only episode 12, I think. But, um, yeah, I really wish I would have drawn it out a little more, but, uh, it's, uh, coming to an end. Ah! You lose that camera angle, and then suddenly you can't see anything. So let's go leave, and then come back in the room. Probably be easier. I don't know how long this episode's gonna take, and the final battle takes place out in space, where you're fighting a giant robot, so I might not be able to uh, sh show it on camera because of how bad the lag is, but I can show parts of it, I'm pretty sure. Alright, made it over, so we're gonna go in here first. I love how, like, the mat is, like, on, like, facing two ways. Actually, I saw a pipe over there, or not a pipe, but, uh... Can we look down here? Oh, I think that's if we fall. So we'll have to go through that other door, then. Out we go. Other door. Yep. Alright, so what's that do? <laughs> it fall makes us fall down. Like, listen to that music. You, it, like, it pumps you up so much for this grand finale. It's like, oh man, this mu music is intense. I wonder what's gonna happen. Just a bunch of jumping and a bunch of, you know, regular platforming RPG things. All right, so it's still good. Had to use Sasuk. Yes, it's Sasuke. I know. Ah, ah. All right, so time to go. Super Saiyan. I just want to get over there. I'm like, screw that. Yeah. All right, that's the area we were just in. That little secret area in the front. Hey, look how big that thing gets. <laughs> Jeez, it's like comically big. I think that's the purpose. 
I'm also trying to play this and sit my monster at the same time. Alright, die. And die. Oh my god, this is a damn thing. So I'm both really excited and sad that this is ending. <clears throat> I mean, I seriously hope you guys enjoy this as much as I have, because I absolutely love this game. I got it, you know, when it first, not really when it first came out, but I got it a long time ago, and um, it was, just, I thought it was, the, the, the game was great. There we go. Oh, seriously? I think we got to leave and come back in. But, um, yeah, I, like I said, it's a shame it's such a short game. Because it really is a short game. Because my episodes are, what, maybe 20 minutes? And it's only, it's only been, I think it's like the 12th episode. So it, it's not a long game at all. And it's unfortunate because it's a good game. But like I said, the formula is find out where you need to go, go to that stage, and beat it. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. Ah, oh, roses. They smell like boo, boo, boo. Wee. But, um, if this was, like, more like, I mean, it says it sounds, even if it was something, like, more, like, akin to, um, Quest 64, where it was, like, an actual RPG, and you had spells and everything you could level up, and, you know, even that would have been cool. Um, but it, it, it's, a, it's an RPG, but it's not really RPG. Okay, here we are back in the main... Um, room where we came in. Sensing the end is near. Die. It's got a very, like, Mario 64 vibe to it down here for some reason. Like the, the dungeon, or not the dungeon, but uh, the basement of the castle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you expect to see some crappy little rabbit walking around and you have to catch him. Little stupid rabbit. They can get that for, use it for a star. Oh yeah, this room. Ooh man, that was close. Whew! And you're probably wondering why I'm jumping and um, smacking, because that's kind of how it is. When you jump, you'll like land and it'll take a second to kind of recover, but if you swing your weapon as you're falling and hit, there's no delay time, you can just keep running. So we're going to go ahead and save right here. And this should be it. And I'm just going to let this play, because I don't care if... I mean, I don't get monetized anyway, so I really don't care. Welcome! As I drink... My Fernandez! Behave yourself. <clears throat> what do you mean? Today is the day you get to... Experience our... Secret Powers! <laughs> What's this extra confidence I sense? I don't know what secret powers they say they have, but they can't defeat us. Yes, you're right. All we have to do is join our two forces together. And it'll be history for you guys. Starting right now. Die hard fast. DIE HARD FANS! Observe the dance of the Peach Mountain Shoguns! Yeah, this one's just too priceless. I'm not gonna skip it. How 
I always thought of them as like a Team Rocket kind of duo. That's right, it's a freaking musical right now. The whole gang's all here. That's right. That was fucking amazing. Gorgeous, my stage. Ooh, that was... I I can't believe it. I, I, I don't know, but I think I'm becoming a diehard fan of Dancing and Lily. <laughs> I mean, that really was... When I was a kid, that part sealed it for me. That made it such a great game. Because, as you can tell with this game, it doesn't take itself too seriously. It has a plot and everything, but it, it doesn't take itself seriously. It, it makes jokes all the time, references, and Japanese culture. And... But we're going to get another impact uh, cutscene here, which the same as always. So I'm just going to cut away, and I will see you guys, hopefully, see how the fight is first, and then cut back to that. So I will see you guys in a second. I just wanted to show off what it was like for this part of the stage. Um, <clears throat> it's all the same thing in the end. You're just running, trying to gather as much energy as possible. Um, energy, money. Or not money, but ammo. So you're just going around destroying shit. And um, we're on a, like a spaceship-y runway of some kind. Oh, come on, you saw me jumping for that. That's right, invincible. I can just go over. Uh... Ow! I jumped. It was too soon. I think, actually, if you crush whatever it is you need to jump over, it actually gives you extra energy. But I, I can't remember if it does. Eh, not too bad. So, I'll see you guys in a second. I need to see if I can do this on screen or not. Yeah, seems like it's slowing down. But this is what it is. It's a giant peach. Peach Mountain Shoguns, Balbera. The Great Peach Mountain... Sh uh, the Great Peach Mountain Battleship, Balbera. Or Balbera, rather. Really simple. Just take parts out. Yep. So basically, you gotta destroy everything on it. And uh, eventually it opens up and you can reveal the inside of it. In which case, the laser is the best thing to do. How much money do we got? Ugh, kinda running low now. And again. Alright. The ship goes down. Kind of weird. It's running at like 40 frames, and yet it's still slowing down. I don't, I don't get why, but whatever. It's like cinematic that way, though. It's like boom. <laughs> the grand finale is about to begin. Yeah, listen to that music. The Fairy of Love and Dreams. Et toi. Super Punch. Let's see if I'm going to do that again. Yeah, that's the Super Punch. It's pretty cool. 
Yeah, he does like this phase where he disappears and sends out like asteroids and stuff, but you can hit him with the laser, just firing it, uh, firing it straight. It's pretty cool. And he should be dead. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Super funny, that bitch. Oh, is he gonna do it again? Come on. There we go. <laughs> that killed him. He's dead. I think I can actually stop the, um, just put my controller down now. The, the frame should pick up after this, because it's not longer, no longer in a, you know, battle or anything. Oh, But Fernandez! But Fernandez, don't think for a moment you've won. I, I imagine him sounding like James, honestly. But he has such a deep voice. As long as the instant stage beam remains in our control. Hasn't someone else said something like that? As long as the Triforce of Power remains in my hands? <laughs> I'm certain we'll one day turn Japan into a gorgeous stage. Shut up! Your evil plans will end as of now. Hey, my name is not Fernandez! It's Goimon! Goimon! Go get him, Impact! This is like the giant fucking Kamehameha wave right here. <laughs> or like fucking Special Beam Cannon or something. Ooh. Wow, space is looking a little odd. Don't mind all those glitches, like this is on an emulator, so uh, naturally this there's gonna be some abnormalities. It looks like someone just took everything in an art museum or whatever and just hung it upside outside in space. Alright, once we get back to normal play, uh, like a normal area, you know, this should be getting up there. Yeah. Yeah, they're going back up. Now he really has, now he really, now he has become a star in outer space. Okay, I'm headed home. Pack it up, boys. We're going home. Man, look at that gorgeous space. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Aha! Aha! Huh, we're back here and it's still going bad. Doesn't matter, it's pretty much almost over anyway. See what happens when we get to the um, the ending credits. The ending credits are actually kind of funny because of the music. Now Japan will be peaceful again, will it? But going on, what shall we do with Kyushu still in outer space? Yep, totally forgot. Kyushu still in outer space. Well, I guess it's gonna have to stay up there, won't it? <laughs> Whoops. I forgot about that. Omitsu's still there. No. What? What's that rumbling? Does that mean? What? Ahoy! Kyushu is returning to Japan. 
That looks like Kyushu over there. I can see Kyushu from my house. Yes, I see it too. Uh, I would hope so. It's a giant rock floating down towards the earth. I'd say that the time bomb set by Danson happened to take out the control device of that castle. So basically we destroyed it and Kyushu is no longer floating because that's whatever it was making float was destroyed. Oh, but first, pick up my wise old man in Omitsu. Oh yeah, you're right. I almost forgot about them. <laughs> well, should we get going? <laughs> scream, scream. They're not actually saying scream, but they're, they're screaming. <laughs> Look there, going on. Look at all those cute girls. <sighs> well, uh, of course. We're the heroes that saved Japan from the Peach Mountain. Naturally. But why is the first time? Why is this the first time they've been so happy? <laughs> yeah, you know something's going on. Well, it must have been something. To it must have something to do with them. Finally noticing my good looks. Hey, hey, everyone, just calm down. Everyone here wanting my autograph start a line here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah, stampede! Hmm. Don't you think these girls are acting a bit strange? What? Oh no! Girl A! Hey, you guys! What have you done to Danson? How would they know anything's been done to Danson? And the oh so beautiful song of Danson and Lily. How would they know any of this? We won't be able to see them thanks to you, you little. I can't believe this. <laughs> well, are we going to mess up on the end credits? Okay, thank God for that. The music, though. <laughs> and then it replays the entire game for me. Yeah, that's supposed to be a, like a little recap thing. It shows what I just showed, and then it's like a smaller picture. But like I said, emulator things mess up all the time. But um, <sighs> well, guys, that was Mystical Ninja starring Goemon, and uh, wow, it was pretty fun. It's sad it's over, but all things good must come to an end at some point in life. And this is just one of them. And I mean, I was, I've was i really, really been happy to play through this again. I haven't played through this entire game since I was, I don't know, 13, 14, around that. So it's been several years since I've played through this entire game. Um, first time I've actually been able to make it working on an emulator. I tried it back a long time ago, about 2000, 2006. Um, 2000, yeah, about 2006, and it just would not work, but I managed to get an emulator that worked, and uh, despite some graphical errors, it worked. As you saw, I didn't have any problems, we played through the entire game. So this is the first time I've gotten to play since about 1997. <laughs> um, so I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this experience again, and it made me remember why I loved the game in the first place. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I have. Me, it was nostalgic. Hopefully, if you guys haven't played it before, um, you found it exciting. Even if my commentary isn't the best, just being able to see this game and kind of all these battles and giant robots like this guy right here. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, obviously, you know, you know the deal. Thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down or whatever comment subscribe 
If you have any other old school games that you want to see played, something that maybe you don't have or don't have access to, let me know. And um, I'll do my best to see if I can get get a playthrough going of those. So obviously leave those in the comments. And also tell me what you liked about this game. I mean, apart from, I mean, not my commentary or anything, I mean about the game itself. Um, it was at the, like stuff like this place, like Mount Fear and all the, these places. Was it the music? Was the aesthetic of it? Was it that whole feeling of like Festival Village of going in and saying, geez, this place would look gorgeous if it was real? Um, I mean, I personally liked how everything was. I mean, I don't like that it, it's supposed to be an RPG, but it wasn't very RPG. Like I said, very linear. You find out what you're supposed to do, you go to the stage, you beat it, you go to the next area. But, um, if that's my only gripe. If it was more like an RPG, it would have been fine. But I love the stages, um, I love the boss battles, they were always fun. That final stage, the music getting more and more intense as you get closer and closer to the end. And the last battle, the music almost gives you like a, a sense of dread once that robot, uh, the giant robot appears. And uh, it's like, oh yeah, this is the end. You know this is the end just by the music. They, so they did a really good job of conveying that. So the music really ma sometimes makes or breaks the game. For me, at least. It could have great things, but if the music doesn't fit it, it's kind of like watching a movie, watching a sad scene and having happy music over it. Or funny music. It's just, it doesn't work and it ruins it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so what did you guys enjoy about it? What did you guys not like about it? Would you like to see this game remade? You know, with today's uh, engine, like in um, Unreal Engine, like what they're doing with all these other games like Crash and Spyro and uh, Final Fantasy VII. And, um, Kingdom Hearts 3 is being used on uh, Unreal Engine 4. Um, so, do you want to see this game remade, but have tweaks to it to where it is, like what I said, where an actual RPG, where they can kind of change things, um, make it a little more interactive, instead of just talk to this person, see where you need to go, okay, I'm going to go to that place, where you want to have weapons that you can upgrade constantly, or a leveling system even, because that would have been cool, I would have loved to be able to level, um, really give a sense of progression. You know, it's like, okay, you know that the game's going to get harder and harder. It'd be have, nice to have some kind of progression to where you feel like, hey, I'm getting stronger, not just weapons, you know? Konami, 1998. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, kind of 98. Wow, my... So I did really kind of get it when I first came out. Congratulations on completing the game. The number of fortune dollars... So I'm listening. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... 14 dolls and then after you collect all of them you unlock this kind of um, gauntlet kind of thing where you can go back and fight all the um, robot bosses again it's pretty cool it's um especially for back in the day this was 1998 so being able to go back and fight bosses but then again Majora's Mask did the same thing of course that was 2000 where after you beat the boss you can go back into the temple and go back to the boss room and fight them all over again. So, for back then, this was pretty good. Um, it gave a sense of, okay, I still have stuff that I need to explore. Might there, there may be parts of the game I haven't seen yet then, because I haven't seen any of these missing cat dolls, you know? So, I, I really think that helped the game, having replay value. Not in a sense of going through the story again, but as you can see, I'm missing dolls and... Uh, I have a, I, I know where some of them are. It's like I said in a couple few episodes back when I was collecting them. I'm not going to get all of them. If you guys want to see me get them, I'll do them. But I'm, I play through things the, uh, the first time as if it was a new experience. So I'm not going to get everything. I did that with Banjo Kazooie. I did it with Majora's Mask. I did it with Mario 64. I'm not a completionist. Um, the first time run, I'm always going to do as if I'm a new player. Obviously, I don't have the same knowledge as a new player because I've played it through, but I go through it as a new player because the first time you're not going to know, oh yeah, I have to blow that thing up to get it. You're not going to know that. But, um, yeah, this is it. This is the end of Mystical Ninja. And, um, there is a second game, which is a side-scroller, 
which I might do if you guys want to see that, so let me know. But um, as of now, this is this is it. So again, hope you guys really enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see Mystical Ninja 2, which is, uh, I think it's called Goemon's Great Adventure. Um, let me know, or any other game, I, like I said, if you want to see, because I've got, uh, I can do like Super Nintendo, Game Boy, DS, uh, N64, PlayStation, um, yeah, all that good stuff, uh, GameCube. So yeah, just let me know, comment below, subscribe, fa uh, I'm about to say favorite, <laughs> but uh, yeah, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, yeah, the end of one series will give way to a new one. So with that, I'll see you guys next time.